we begin the class, just sitting back in our comfortable chair. Make sure it's sturdy, no arm rests on it at all. And then make sure you have a water bottle tucked underneath your chair so you don't kick it. All right, shoulders back and down. We can look down at our knees or we may close our eyes. But we want to start taking these deep breaths, inhaling through the nose if possible, and then exhale through the nose. If you're all congested, just breathe through your mouth. But this helps to calm the body, clear out the clutter. We're gonna be working strength, balance, and flexibility. So take the class at your own pace. I'm gonna show lots of modifications. I'll also challenge you a bit. But if you listen to your body, you can avoid injury. So take those breaks if you need them. All right, let's open up our eyes and wiggle our fingers and our toes. I'm gonna move up to the edge of our chair and just start rolling out your shoulders, big circles. We're gonna sweep the arms up and then bring them back down. And they might not go very high at first. We're getting these shoulders warm. Very good. And then meet me in heart center. Let's inhale to the sky. Exhale the arms out and down. Do it again. Inhale up. Exhale out and down. You're trying to touch the side walls as you go out. So if you're exercising with a friend or a partner, don't smack them. All right, one more time. On this last one, I want you to meet me in chest expansion. So we draw the palms towards one another. The shoulders roll back and down. We open up the chest. We spend most of our day rounded over without realizing it, so we need this one. Arms to the front, sit nice and tall. Do not twist the spine. Just take this left arm back and then inhale it back forwards. And then exhale your right arm back. Very good, chest facing the front. Working on these shoulders. Okay, now arms go up to the sky, angel clap, waking up fingers, and then pick up this right leg. You're gonna sit nice and tall, not round over to get there. And then we roll out the ankle, one direction, then the other. You know, your ankles get really stiff. When they get stiff, greater chance of tripping. So we gotta get them limber. Stretch out that right leg, sit nice and tall, hands on the bent leg, exhale, hinge. And then inhale back up. Good, flow it back and forth. We're waking up our hamstring now. And we put our hands on the bent leg so we're not pressing on a straight leg to hyperextend it. All right, pull that leg in, grab underneath. We're gonna help that right leg out. Bring it back in, this is our hip opener. If you don't need hands, pick them up. A Couple more times. And then one more. Good. Inhale to the sky, reach nice and tall. Angel clap all the way down again. Let's pick up our left leg. Sit tall, roll out the ankle. Both directions. Straighten out that left leg, hands on the bent leg. Sit tall, exhale, hinge. We're flowing back and forth. These hamstrings get super tight. Everything we do throughout the day tightens up our hamstrings. So we gotta stretch them back out. All right, pull that leg in, grab underneath, help that left hip to open, and close it back down. You can keep your hands here or pick them up. Your choice. Good job. All right, when you get back in, shake, shake, shake. And then just to make sure those ankles are warm, if you have shoes on, I want you to outline your shoes on the floor. Good. Now you can wear shoes during this class. I have some folks that like to go barefoot. Just don't have slippery socks on. You'll end up doing the splits. We don't want that. Take it the other direction. All right, it's time to get out of this chair. Remember, I don't have you in the chair the whole time. But if you do need to stay in the chair, by all means, you can modify. We're going to put the weight in our heels. Our chest is lifted. We're going to hinge forwards. You've got to squeeze your glutes to get up. Here we go. 
press, squeeze your bottom, look back for that chair, make sure it's still there, and we sit. And we go again. You can go as slow or as fast as you like, but no momentum to get you out of the chair. It's gotta be coming from your glutes. Your thighs are secondary. Now, you might be ready for a little bit more. If that's you, instead of chair sitting, we're gonna hover. So your chest stays upright, hands stay in, you sit your hips back. Just make sure your knees don't go past your toes. And then you squeeze the glutes and come back up. And you do this flow. Your arms can go out in front for more sensation, as long as you don't round your back. You can even take your arms to the sky. Now I'm working shoulders, thighs, glutes, and my heart rate's starting to climb a little bit. All right, if you want more sensation, you may hover with me. I like my arms in when I hover. Helps keep my chest up, and I sit my hips back. If you lose your balance, you'll be in your chair. Now try to pick up your toes just a little bit. Not a lot, don't wanna fall. Good, now press out to a stand. Ooh, should've felt that right there, get a little warm. Shake out those legs. All right, walk around to the back of your chair. We're going to down dog. When we do down dog, we grab onto the back of the chair, we walk our feet back about hips width apart. Your knees stay soft and then you extend through the chair. Gotta move mine up. So you pull your tailbone to the sky, all right? And if I tend to get dizzy, I'm gonna keep my head up. But if I don't tend to get dizzy, you're trying to draw your armpits down, extending through the shoulders. I get an upper and a lower body stretch here. One more deep breath and then bend your knees. Baby step forwards before you let go of the chair and then you're upright again. Very good. All right, let's wake up the hips. We're gonna step to the right side of the chair. We're gonna hold on with this left hand. Weight goes into the left leg, and I'm gonna swing my right foot. Now look around, make sure you're not gonna kick anything where you are. And you may swing low, you may swing high, fast or slow, doesn't matter. I've got my chair here, but if I wanna add a little balance to it, maybe I hover the fingertips or let go. Good, one more time. Good, now when we were sitting in the chair, we opened up the knee out to the side and back. We're gonna do the standing version. So if you're sitting, do the sitting one again. All right, my right knee comes up, it goes out, then I set it down. Then I pick it up, close it down. Option to open and close. And I notice I'm trying to let go of this chair and work balance. Anybody want it a little tougher? Don't actually transfer weight. You lift up, you tap the floor, you come back. It's a lot harder. Beautiful job. All right, walk to the other side. Now we're swinging our left leg. So we put our weight into our right foot. We look around, make sure we're not gonna kick anything. And then we start our swing. It's a great warm up for our hips. Swing low, swing high, using the chair if I need it, or trying to hover. That bottom leg stays a little bit soft. And then feet back together. All right, let's hold on to the chair. We're gonna pick up this left knee, take it out. You can transfer the weight, then come back. Using the chair if you need it, or just tap the floor. Lots of different options on this one. But it's great, works for the hip. I get it tight. If you have to get in those big SUVs, those big tall ones, this is great for that. One more time. And then bring it back in. Good job, shake it out. Now I like to stretch out these hips by doing my down dog with my feet closer together go back into my down dog, my knees are soft, but I'm gonna bend my right knee and try to kick out my left hip. And I'm just pedaling my feet back and forth. I get a nice stretch shooting down one leg at a time, works through the hip. And then I bend the knees and baby step up. Good, couple more moves to make sure we're warm, reach tall. Left hand goes to the hip. If you want more sensation, slide it all the way down. 
reach taller with the right arm. And then inhale up. Drop the right hand to the hip or lower and reach taller with the left. Good. Now we inhale to the sky. Lower the left arm. Inhale back up. And exhale the right arm. Beautiful. This is great for our shoulders. Do a couple more. Very good. Reach nice and tall. And then angel clap all the way down. Now we're going to put our hands right above the knees on our thighs. We're going to hinge at the hips. Try to keep your back flat. This one is called monkey. So in monkey, my head never goes below my heart. My chest is open. I pull my tailbone higher. And then we're trying to straighten our legs. You get a nice hamstring stretch. If your legs straighten, I want you to bend your knees. Put your hands below your knees. Lift the chest, flatten the back, and then try to straighten them. And this pattern can continue all the way to the floor if you like. Just make sure that your back stays flat. That protects your low back. All right, everybody bend the knees, hands on thighs, and roll on up. Reach tall. And then angel clap all the way down. Roll it out. All right, this is a great time for you to find a sip of water. We're moving into balance. All right, for your balance, we're going to have our chair maybe to one side. If you're not comfortable with that, you stay behind the chair with two hands on the chair. You can always find a wall and do it that way. Something to help stabilize you. All right, we're going to start balancing on this right leg. So roll the shoulders back and down. Shift the weight. We're going to point the left toe. You can stay right here, modified tree. If I'm comfortable here with my knee forwards or knee out, your choice, you may pick up the foot. Place it anywhere on your leg except for your kneecap. From there, maybe I try to remove both hands. Got lots of options for this one. One hand can be at the chair and one arm out, or maybe both arms out. Over time, we're trying to take one or both arms to the sky. Chin is lifted, our shoulders are pressed back and down. Find a fixed object and focus on it. Now you always have the option to stay right here and practice balance, okay? But we're gonna increase sensation by moving to stability. Hand goes to the chair, other arm is out. Bring that knee forwards. We're gonna do a knee lift. Knee, and then tap the floor. So my weight is balancing in this right foot. That's what's taking it. This left foot is just tapping the floor and back. All right, if you don't need that hand, arms are out. I'm gonna show you one more layer of sensation if you want it. We're gonna go knee, kick the heel, knee, tap. Knee, kick the heel. Ooh, I feel that bottom leg working overtime now. Might be in your foot, might be in your hip or your glute. It's where you need the strength. That's where you're feeling it. One more. Then we're all gonna meet back in tree pose. We're balancing on a tired leg now. Three, and two, and release. Ooh, anybody feel that? I felt it. Anywhere shooting down your leg, it's all good. The balance gets easier, but the strength work stays. We, we just continue to need it. All right, we're doing the other side. Before we go to the other side, can I have a chest expansion? Palms towards one another. Shoulders back and down. You need to do this one throughout the day. All right, now we're on the other side of the chair. We're gonna be balancing on our left leg, so it might be a little tougher on your left leg. Have that chair nearby. Shift the weight, stand nice and tall. Meet me in tree pose. Knee forwards or knee out. From there, maybe pick up the foot. Add in that second arm. Lots of options. Chin is up, your shoulders are back and down. All right, you're welcome to stay here. If you want more sensation, knee comes forwards. Chair's right there if I need it, bottom leg soft. Knee up and tap. 
and you decide how high to bring that knee. Your hip flexor will tell you. Arms or no arms. And then one more level of sensation if you want it. Knee, heel, knee. Knee, heel, knee. Okay, one more time. And then we hold to finish. For three, two, and release. Good job, shake out that bottom foot. All right, we've rested after balance. It is time to work. And when we work, I make you earn your sit. So if you need to take a break, by all means, please take one. But my job is to challenge you. So we start with our knees out, toes out, behind the chair, and that's so you can grab onto it anytime you need help. I'm gonna move mine aside just so that you can see me better. We're gonna pull the tailbone in and lift the chest. All right, I've got my chair, so I'm gonna sink down. Now check your knees, they should not go past your toes. And then you push through your heels to come back up. So if you wanna get lower, you're gonna have to bring your legs wider. All right, here we go, down slow. And then up slow. Good. Remember your tendency is to stick your bottom out on this one. Try not to let it do that. So we're strengthening right here and our glutes back here. And we need these muscles strengthened to do our everyday activities pain-free. All right, let's go down a little faster and then up slow. Down a little faster, up slow. Good, reverse that. Go down slow, then push through the heels to power up. Take it on down and then power up. Good, now we're gonna go down and hold. So if you need to come out, you have that option. Chest up, bottom in, weight into your heels, and pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You might need to grab that chair to get out. And then wiggle those feet in. Good job. All right, you should be feeling it right here and on the inner thighs. All right, come take a seat. You've earned it. Now we're gonna do warrior two in the chair. So if you come up to the edge of the chair, we're gonna take our right knee out first. Find the corner. It's easier when you find the corner. Your heels should line up underneath your knee and you straighten out your left leg. You're gonna get that inner thigh stretch that we just had doing those plie squats. But now we're gonna hold it. Arms out, shoulders back and down. All right, we're gonna hinge towards this bent leg to the right, and I need your abs tight when you do it. If your abs aren't tight, your back takes over. And that's how those back injuries can happen. So you gotta stay tight. One more time. Out and hold, keep breathing. Lower that front arm, gentle touch. Don't put all your weight there. Pick up the left arm. Pull the left shoulder blade back may stay here even if it makes your arm kick out that's okay the front arm could be palm out so you don't hold on and then over time we're trying to reach up and overhead hinge a little further but listen to your body three two Ooh, feeling that left shoulder stretching out it's a hip opener as well strengthening our core and then we go back upright Good. bring the arms forwards and then up, and then out. Do it again. Forwards, up, and out. All right, now I like to play with the class a little bit. Shoulders back and down. Let's take this right arm forwards, small circles. Then we're gonna add the left arm going backwards at the same time. See if you can do it. It's tricky. Now freeze that left arm. Keep that right arm going. And then freeze both arms. Good, sweep it up. Sweep it forward, shoulders are talking now. Now keep the elbows lifted, but out to the sides. Can you press your shoulders away from your ears? And then fly with me. Little baby pulses, tops of the shoulders talking. Six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Reach up slightly in front and then out and then down. Good, Ooh, you should feel those shoulders working. All right, grab this straight leg and carefully bring it in. Wiggle that right leg in, give it a little shake. Good job. Now we always take care of our back, so we're gonna tuck the chin into the chest, grab underneath and just gently round it as you pull backwards. Then look out in front of your feet, draw the tailbone out and open the chest. So we're not craning our neck. We exhale as we round back and we inhale as we come up. One more time. And then back up right. All right, this is the part of the class where you have options. You may stay here and take a breath, get some water, or you may do five chair squats with me, or more sensation, five chair hovers so you don't sit. And then the hardest level would be just holding that hover position. All right, so let me show you the options. Let's go together with chair squats. That would be five. All right, a chair hover, when you press up, you don't sit again. That would be four. Good. And then the last three, I'm just going to hold and hover. Get the weight out of my heels. I'm sorry, not out of my heels, out of my toes. Do not put the weight in your toes. And then sit back down. Good. So those are your three options. And one of those three that you chose should be burning your thighs. Shake it out. If you put all the weight in your toes while you chair squat, you'll feel it here. We don't need sharpshooting pain here. We want the glute to do the work. All right, let's take the left knee out. We go the other side. Warrior two, my knee is right on top of that heel. I stretch out my right leg, and then my hips will tell me how far open I can take this right leg. Don't overdo it. Turn your chest back to the front, shoulders back and down. Abs stay tight as we hinge forwards and back upright. Good job, couple more. Out and hold, keep breathing. Drop the left arm, gentle touch. Right arm reaches up. Before you go any further, right shoulder presses back. Possibly palm open with the left hand. And then we just begin this slow journey up and overhead. And breathe. This strengthens our core, stretches out the right shoulder. And then with these knees open, it's a hip opener. One more deep breath. And then we go out, arms to the side. Good, sweep it up, forwards, pull back and hold. Now this time, shoulders back and down, elbows are lifted. I'm just gonna rotate up and down. Good. Don't let your elbows drop. Good, let's go faster. Up, down, inhale, exhale. Good, right arm only. Left arm only. Ooh, those shoulders starting to talk. Now bring the arms to goalposts. We're raising the roof, so we take it up slightly in front, like you're putting a box on the shelf, and we go back to goalpost. Reach and lower, a little faster. Up, down. Option to stay slow. For three, ooh, shoulders talking now. Two, one. Arms up tall, arms out to finish, shoulders back and down. Reach those side walls, try to touch them. Pull that left knee open a little bit more, and then release. Good job, all right, wiggle this leg in, bring the straight leg in, till you can meet back at the front. Shake, 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 and then take care of that back again. All right, so your water bottle should be nearby. Let's grab a drink. So we did seated work. Now we're gonna do some standing work. And again, sitting in the chair is an option. You'll do warrior two and copy our arms and our movements. All right, we're gonna take this right knee out. We're gonna take the left leg open. Now my heels should be in a straight line, okay? My right toe faces this wall, but my left toe can face either forwards or heel leading, your choice. Whatever's most comfortable. We're gonna bend into this right knee. Your chest is upright. And now we're gonna work legs and upper body. So we exhale, we inhale. 
flowing back and forth. And you can stay flowing, but if you're ready, I want you to sink and hold with me. Good. Check this right knee, it's trying to come forwards. I wanna take it back, opening up the hip right here. Excellent. All right, so we're doing reverse warrior. In reverse warrior, we're gonna lower the left arm, palm up on the right, hinge it forwards, and then reach for the sky. And we breathe here. All the weight is in that front heel. Three, two, and then ease on out. Good, walk in those feet, shake out those legs. Good job, now we gotta do it to the other side. So if you're in the chair, warrior two the other direction. Left toe is facing the wall, right toe forwards. Your hips are facing straight ahead. We're gonna bend into the left leg and then we're gonna straighten it and just make sure this knee doesn't go past your toe. So you may flow back and forth. All right, let's go down and hover. Pull that left knee back if you can. If you need to keep flowing, flow. Arms are trying to reach those side walls. It's not a passive, relaxed, it is strong. All right, reverse warriors next. We lower the right arm, palm up with the left hand. Abs are tight as you hinge. Then reach to the sky. Now I'm not doing a back arch. The weight is in my left heel. And that left thigh is talking to me. Reach that arm a little taller. Three. And two. And then ease on out. Walk in that back foot till those hips release. Shake it on out. Let's finish with a down dog. Grab onto that chair. Soft knees, pull that tailbone to the sky. Take a few deep breaths here. We gotta stretch out everything we just worked. And then we're gonna bend the knees and baby step forwards. All right, this is a great time to find your chair. All right, it's time for cool down. This is Dobbs. He says hi. <laughs> and now he's going bye bye. All right. Cool down, we have worked hard, we've strengthened the muscles, we've practiced our balance, but now it's time to stretch things out. So, shoulders back and down, I want you to extend that right leg first. At the beginning we flowed the hamstring stretch, now we're gonna hold it. So if your hand's on your bent leg, and you feel the stretch right above the knee. And take those deep breaths. Never hold your breath on these stretches. This is what makes the body feel better. One more deep breath. Make sure your back's not rounded over. And then we come back up, right? We go to our hip opener next, so we bring that foot in. And then with your left knee straight up and down, kick the right knee out, and you get a deeper stretch if you're on the edge of your chair. All right, so modified is right here. I'm not gonna cross the leg, I feel it right back here. If I want more sensation, cross at the ankle. That hip opens a little bit more. Sitting tall. And then if you want even more sensation, flex the foot and place it on top of the knee. But in any of these positions to get more sensation, flat back, you hinge forwards. Okay, now some of you are super flexible out there and if that's you, you could pick up the bottom heel. I don't need to to feel it. I feel it right here. And we never want to push the knee down or overstretch. You just want to breathe through these stretches. Over time, you'll see improvement, but we don't force it. All right. Untangle, shake out the legs, and give me a chest expansion. Good, sweep both arms up. And then angel clap all the way down. Take your arms to the side, then give yourself a hug. Notice which arm you put on top, okay? You're gonna do the other one next. So lift the elbows high as you can until you have to let go. And then reach tall and roll it out. Good, inhale the arms up forward. Exhale out to the sides, angel clap, then freeze halfway down. Now take your other arm on top. It should feel strange, it's not your more flexible arm. You usually pick that one first. 
and then lift the elbows till you have to let go and bring it all the way down and roll it out all right it's time to stretch out the left leg we're stretching the hamstring first chest up and then hinge this time we hold and we breathe don't be upside down. It's not about ducking over, okay? If your chest is upright and you just hinge at the hips, you shouldn't be able to go very far before you feel it. A couple more deep breaths. And then back upright. Let's go to our hip opener. Bring that leg in. We open up the left hip, okay? You can come to the edge of your chair to feel it more. Modified. A little bit deeper sensation is here. Even more, flex the foot, go above the knee. But sit nice and tall wherever you are. And then you have the option to hinge. Couple more deep breaths. If you do long car rides, you need this kind of stretch. If you've been sitting a lot all day, you might get sciatica. Sciatica, this is a wonderful stretch for that. It's very common to get that. So do this multiple times a day. This and our down dog behind the chair. All right, let's untangle. Shake it on out. Chest expansion. Left arm's gonna cross the body. Maybe it doesn't go very far, but we're gonna grab above or below the elbow and then gently take it a little further until you feel it right here. Press your shoulders back and down. And then chest expansion. Let's go the other side. Gentle pull. Imagine that you're up against a wall. So now I'm trying to pull my right shoulder blade back to meet that wall. Can't take it as far that way. And then chest expansion. Good, roll out the shoulders. Sit back in your chair. It's time to work our neck. So I want you to drop the chin down into the chest. And then back up, right? How about that left ear towards the left shoulder? Make sure that the shoulders aren't scrunching so you can get further. Pull them back and down. And then back up, right? How about that right ear towards the right shoulder? And then back upright. Good. Now turn your chin to the left. Make sure your chin is lifted as you take it to the left wall. And then back to the front. And how about to the right? You're going to feel some tightness in your neck. Okay? you got to work through it very slowly. Don't ever overstretch. Let's go again. This time look over your shoulder. Gotta work that blind spot when we're driving. These necks get tighter and tighter. And then back to the front. How about we look over our right shoulder? And then back to the front. We move up to the edge of our chair. We sit nice and tall, roll out some shoulders. And then I want you to inhale to the sky. Exhale to heart center. Inhale up, exhale out. One more deep breath with me. 